Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Lighting, and I'm an associate professor at the University of South Florida and a clinical immunologist at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. I specialize in treating patients with primary immunodeficiency diseases. Primary immunodeficiencies comprise a constellation of diseases, many of which are not well characterized. This can make recognition of these diseases extremely difficult and often slow. APDS or activated PI3K Delta syndrome is a primary immunodeficiency that evolves over time. Some of the symptoms can include recurrent life-threatening infections, bronchiectasis, and lymphadenopathy. Some patients may progress to even develop lymphoma. Early recognition and diagnosis is imperative in order to prevent disease related to sequelae and to initiate appropriate treatment as soon as possible. The symptoms of APDS often overlap with other immunodeficiency diseases and therefore relying on the clinical phenotype for recognition and diagnosis is going to be difficult. The gold standard for diagnosis of APDS is genetic testing. There is no specific screening test that will identify patients with APDS short of genetic testing. Immunodeficiency genetic panels are a strong tool used by clinical immunologists to diagnose genetic immunodeficiency diseases such as APDS. The 407 gene panel currently offered casts a wide net allowing clinicians to diagnose many different diseases that have overlapping phenotypes. APDS is one of those diseases that can be determined with such a genetic test. In the case of APDS, genetic panels, such as the 407 gene panel, are the fastest way to a definitive diagnosis. And the faster we get to a definitive diagnosis, the more quickly we can provide treatment to our patients. Interpretation of genetic testing can often be difficult as results return in one of three flavors. The first is that there is a variant in the gene or a change in the gene from the normal population. This variant can be reported as pathogenic. A pathogenic change means that that change or variant in the gene has been reported in other people with APDS or has been proven to have some negative consequence on the gene being tested. Another option is that there is a variant of unknown significance, or VUS. A VUS is a variant in which there is a change in the gene, but it is unclear what the significance of that change is, and if that change is truly leading to the manifestations that the patient has. Variants of unknown significance require validation in order to prove that that change in the gene is truly pathogenic. And the third flavor or last that we see is that there is no change in the gene or no change in the variant. You may also wish to refer to your local academic center where there may be trained immunologists who can help with the diagnosis and treatment of patients with APDS. If you are unsure of a center of excellence nearest to you, consult this website for locations. There are two genes in the genetic panel that cause APDS. The first is PIK3CD, and the second is PIK3R1. However, when you perform this genetic panel, you may receive results other than a diagnosis of APDS. Recognition of the symptoms of APDS and appropriate testing to diagnose APDS are imperative in order to start and provide the best treatment for your patient so that they have the best chance for a favorable outcome.